Hello friends, we have our afternoon story here and we're gonna have another adventure with our ghost friends. This is a ghost trip to Loch Ness and it's by Jacques Ducanois. Just like our ghost dinner and ghosts in the cellar. And let's look, take a look at the lake or the loch in Scottish. Looks like it's a little dark, the moon's out. Do you see where the ghosts are? And we have our title page. In the great big bathroom, high up in his castle, Henry the ghost relaxed in a hot bubble bath. Looks pretty cozy to me. And read the newspaper. The Loch Ness Monster has been sighted once again. A passerby took this picture. Look close. Oh, look at that green creature. Lucy, George, Edward, come and see. The four friends quickly agreed to travel to Loch Ness the following day to see the monster. They must live very close. They set off in Henry's deluxe convertible. That looks like a fast car and drove straight to the belly of an enormous ferry boat. After a pleasant journey, they arrived in Scotland. And then finally at Loch Ness. That castle looks cozy. Let's see if anyone lives there. Does it look very cozy? It looks a little well, broken and run down. And look, what time of day is it in the story? I don't see the sun, but I do see the moon. Before they could reach the dock, they heard a strange noise. What's that sound? It must be the monster. You think it's the monster already? No, it's Mac Ghost playing his bagpipes. Welcome to my castle. It's so good to see you, Mac Ghost called. And look at who's behind them, two little dogs, two little Scotty dogs. <clears throat> Mac Ghost told them that he had never seen the monster, but that his best friend's cousin once did. He said the monster was green with a long neck, this long and fins on both sides. That sound of, kind of sounds like a dinosaur to me. The next morning, the search began, and nothing. Except for a few fish. Was it just a few fish? Oh, what a flash, Henry cried. Must have been a big one. But was it the fish? The following day, they continued their search. Still nothing. Luckily, Henry had brought his fishing rod. There's nothing wrong with a little fishing while you're waiting for a monster to come along. Hey, I've got one, Henry shouted. They all ran to see. Are they looking in the right direction though? He's caught a little red fish, but behind them there's something a little more exciting. The search went on and again, nothing. That evening, they promised to stay awake all night and wait for the monster. It's not very difficult to stay up all night. I know that I enjoy sleeping. But by the middle of the night, the four explorers were just too tired. They fell asleep. And look who's up while they're sleeping. The next day, Henry and his friends felt like taking pictures. The search would begin again tomorrow. Click, 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 click. And what's happening behind them while the pictures are going? Who's that? That's Nessie, that Loch Ness monster. Their vacation would soon be over. For their last outing, Mac Ghost joined them. A dense fog settled in and rain began to fall. The wind blew hard. What a beautiful day, cried Mac Ghost.
suddenly a wave lifted the boat out of the water. Does that look like a wave? Oh, it's getting rough. Let's go back to the castle. I guess we'll never get to see the monster. And look whose hat is lost, my ghost lost his hat. Sadly, it was time to leave. That ghost went with them to the ferry port and played a farewell song on his bagpipes. Goodbye, my friends. Don't forget to write, he hollered when his song was over. Goodbye, Matt Ghost. See you later. The four friends were a bit disappointed when they got back to their castle. They had only managed to bring back a teeny tiny Loch Ness monster. A teeny tiny redfish. <clears throat> when Henry got the developed pictures back, he was in for a big surprise. Lucy, George, Edward, come and see. And he's back in his bubble bath, isn't he? We found the Loch Ness Monster after all. Can you see in their pictures? Behind them, the Loch Ness Monsters in all their pictures. Oh, and who has Matt Goh's hat? Well, that Loch Ness Monster. And there she is again. The end. Would you go on a mission to find the Loch Ness Monster? Would you be afraid? I don't think you would. Can't wait to talk to you. I'll see you soon.